How old are you? 18. Take off some of those clothes. Show the Cobra fans what they really want to see. They are gonna love you. This is just the beginning for you. I can pay you so much more if you're willing to go all the way. Introducing Brent Korg. It's fun to play with who we are, don't you think? Okay. Have you heard of this guy, Brent Corrigan? His videos are selling like hotcakes. Just wait till I make you a star. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the polar opposite of Disney. So what made you want to go in this direction for your first like, film post-Disney? Um, I was looking for really good, meaty, layered, aggressive, cool work. And I think I read the script, and it was a little jarring at first. But after watching I, Michael, and meeting with Justin, I was really excited. Definitely aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Definitely something new. So how was it working with Christian Slater and James Franco? Great. You know, I was... <clears throat> the one... I think the most frequent question is, um, what did I learn from them? Mm -hmm. And I think the pleasant surprise working with any of the veteran actors in the movie at all were <laughs> uh, just their work ethic and to see that no matter how far you get, if you you know, there's still work ethic involved, and and they don't just show up and it's like just read their lines. And just yeah, they don't just show up and know everything and then leave. Yeah. It's like they I you know I've seen they work just as hard at what they do every day just as much as I do, and so that was that kind of made me feel really good and like I was on the right track because you never really know when you're yeah. you know when you're first starting. Did any of them kind of take a guiding role in your? to help you while you were on set? They were all, I mean, legitimately, they were all wonderful. Perfect. So what content, so this is a major content change. What mm -hmm. was the hardest part about it? I think I was most nervous about the nudity. Okay. But it was after we were doing one of the scenes. It was just the first one I saw it. <clears throat> we were doing one of them when I had to take my clothes off and I saw how Justin was shooting it and it was really, really beautifully set. And I was really excited about that because it wasn't crude for the sake of being crude. Yeah. It was, it was tasteful bodies telling the story. Yeah. You know, there was always a reason behind each thing. And we talked about each segment and why it was happening. And that made me feel really good about it. I think, I think there were only really two scenes that were really, the most central that you were a part of. And it was when you were in the shower scene, it was mm -hmm. all kind of opaque. And then the scene with Christian Slater. Mm -hmm. So how, how was that scene? Was there, did you have to... Kind with of, Christian? Yeah. It was actually really last minute. Really? Yeah. We were... That wasn't in the script, but when we had finished on... Uh, when he gets on me on the couch, he, um, he and Justin had spoken, and I agreed with them that... it for the rest of the movie going so far and our characters having such a dynamic, we ne there needed to be that moment. Yeah. And so we talked about what it should be and what it was, and we just like did it right there on the spot. It was crazy. How was that scene like that compared to the kind of orgy scene that was also in the film? Uh, the orgy scene, it just took all day to shoot. <laughs> and they were bringing in people two by two, so that it was just like... It was a little bit of a head rush, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> naked in this room with a room full of people, like just revolving door of men coming through, <laughs> having people just like grope my body. It was a little jarring, but <clears throat> in the, in the same sense, me and Christian were doing a very aggressive. Um, I wouldn't say volatile, but um, to show that power shift in the movie, he had to be more aggressive, and yeah. so I think it was that was where my headspace was and I can't imagine where he had to go to, to do that. So it was that, I think that was the struggle for us to be able to do that scene correctly. Cause it was, it, 
Yeah. It was, it's, it's, you, you know, yeah, anybody I that know. watches it knows it's They'll a little bit of a exactly. touching moment. Yeah. So did you get to meet Sean Lockhart before the film? No. no we so still haven't actually met. Really? Mm-hmm. So how did you research the character or was there any research involved like, on your part? Oh, completely. Yeah. The, obviously reading Cobra Killer. Yeah. But also reading Wikipedia and searching, you know, searching about any piece of his life I can read. Uh, he wanted to have a YouTube channel for a minute that I was, <laughs> I watched all of it and uh, watching a lot of his work and interviews with him and he was wanting to get into acting so I tried to find the short you know, there's there's so many pieces of, to the puzzle of what I had to do to f- study because I had pressured Justin to meet him originally when I first uh, when we f- I booked the role but after we discussed it we agreed it was best just to separate the movie mm-hmm. a little uh, the movie character that I was creating a little bit from him so it wasn't I didn't come across as like making fun of his life or just respect for it. Yeah. So I was just trying to add hints of things that he's done Mm -hmm. or of, uh, that he, that like mannerisms and things that he does in real life to try to give fans of his a little bit, um, little hints of things that make them feel like they're watching his story, but not to the extent of literally mimicking him because I think that, yeah, we didn't, we just didn't want to make a joke out of his life. So you kind of, you developed the, the character, Kind of yourself through all the research. Mm-hmm. Were there any like exact reenactments? No. Done of the video. There was well, even the original, <clears throat> the way we opened the movie, which you can see in the trailer, yeah, isn't the same as is for the first video that you mm-hmm. can find online, uh, which I know is very controversial, yeah, because he's seventeen in the video, and laying on a lawn, and yeah, it's just it's, which. Technically, that was the scene I did for the my audition tape. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, it was interesting. It was it was very interesting. I think there's a lot of dynamic and layers in in doing the scene, but watching it and seeing what it was in real life is fascinating. I think that. And someone actually asked me at a film festival what was the most interesting or what was the favorite video I watched of his or something. But I just said, honestly, it's. I think that was a that's it's a fascinating thing to see. Yeah. Somebody at that age to do something like that is and that's why it was I I was like, "Oh my, I can't believe I'm watching this." It was <laughs> it was nuts. Did it at all change your view of kind of the sex industry, the porn industry? I Yeah. Because it, until I researched people living doing these things, I think the one difference that uh, with his story than a lot of the other ones is that He's taken his life and taken charge of it, and now he's living the life he said he wanted to be an equestrian, you know, produce his own work, act in in film projects, and a lot of the stories that I read were either drug addiction, suicide. People would try and have families, and people wouldn't let their kids play with, you know, their kids in school because they didn't, because they found out about the parents' past, and a lot of these people are just trying to live normal lives and it's uh, a lot of the stories are really sad so i have a lot of sympathy for people that work in the industry i'm proud of this i'm proud of the work i've done and all all the effort that we put into the project but i hope that people can see that it's a role of course and respect the 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 piece of material that we made do you get asked like since you've made this film do the people question your sexual orientation at all because of it People question that for any guy in Hollywood. Like, literally every single guy. There's no escaping. People want to pry, and I just don't think it's anyone's business. No, I agree. Let's see, So you're going to be in Hairspray Live. Mm-hmm. I know you could probably you can't talk too much about it, but how hard is it to prepare for a live show? I've been doing theater, oh boy, for, I don't know, over... 10, 12 years or something like that at this point and it just feels like doing another another musical to me. It's interesting doing this on film. I think it's the biggest challenge is finding balance because if you're in a theater you're going to sell it to the cheap seats but if you're on camera you're going to keep it really small uh, small and intimate and, 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 and real. 
And so I think to find the balance between those is going to be interesting. Because every frame, every frame matters. That all has to be right at, in the exact time, right? Mm -hmm. I, it'll be interesting to see. I'm sure timing plays a lot into doing a live, a live musical. Have you gotten to meet any of your other cast members yet? Yeah. We, we did a table read. We did a press day. We've, we've done a bunch of things, or a couple things so far. So everyone's been really wonderful. So aside from Hairspray Live, what other projects should we look out for? Well, I have a thriller called Don't Hang Up. I have a sci-fi movie called Welcome to Willits. I will be doing, um, returning to a play I've been working on, but I can't say anything more about that at the <laughs> moment. Uh, yeah, so those are the other things that I'm handling at the moment. So you're kind of moving less from the stage and more towards the screen, or is, is it you're trying to find a balance between both of them? A balance between both. Balance between mm -hmm. both. Which one came first? Which one was your first love? Theater came first. Theater came first? Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, through the year I've, you know, been promoting Cobra, obviously. But this I was when I shot Welcome to Willits as the sci-fi movie I did with the same uh, Scott and Jordan, the producers on this movie. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I did Almost Famous the Musical at the Troubadour, and I did a play. So it's all staying very even. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. I've never done this before. I'll show you how. Might as well get paid for it. How was I? You were gonna be a big star.